Hello people, so welcome back to the best player career my channel here on YouTube. Today with Axel Korsgaard in England. If you missed last episode, he joined the championship with Bristol City. They're currently in fifth in the league after six matches played. So he has an entire season here on loan, ladies and gentlemen. They're currently a oh, fifth, sixth, whatever I said. They're fifth. Three wins, two draws, one loss. It's a close, close battle early on. And hopefully we can get them promoted into the Premier League this season out on loan. It's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a different one. I don't think we've ever been to the Championship before, which is interesting. Korsgaard is the highest rated player on loan from Galatasaray in this team. There are a few people that I actually recognize. I know Thomas Callas. Uh, I know Andreas Weiman, who I didn't know still played football. But there you go. They have... Uh, Naki Wells as well, who I know from ages ago. I didn't know he could still kick ball as well. So it's going to be a weird one. It's going to be a new one, but hopefully it'll be a fun one. We're having our debut here today at home against Ipswich. Coming off the bench, left center back, nil-nil, half an hour to play. I don't think this loan move would have happened if Galatasaray stayed in the Champions League. But the fact they got knocked out, I think the gaffer thought Korsgaard was not ready. So we're not going to be playing in the Europa League this year. Instead, we are playing in the championship. I don't know if you've seen last episode or the last couple episodes of this and Dragomir, but hopefully it should look a bit smoother than the first. Oh, also, we're playing five at the back from it. Oh, there's a glitch. Oh, fantastic. Is that going to stay the whole match? Just goes to show, even without mods, there can still be glitches. Cause got a good tackle. Um, it should look a bit smoother than the first few matches. We are still on the laptop, but we're using NVIDIA Shadowplay instead of OBS. So hopefully... Um, it is running smoother and looking smoother for you guys from the first few episodes on the laptop. We're getting some nice frames and uh, last episode when we first done, I think it was episode 10, it was really much smoother. So again, we're, we're taking strides. We're trying to improve bit by bit on this laptop until we got our PC back at the end of January. As Korsgaard misses that block, goes out for a goal kick. Is it still? It is still there. Can we play half an hour with this here? It's such a stupid bug, man. Sleeves rolled up, ladies and gentlemen of the Rinskid YouTube channel. Today is an arcade day, and I'm sick and tired of making these little videos within a video kind of thing. You're trying to enjoy the Dweebs YouTube video, Dragomir, Axel Korsgaard, Football Manager, whatever it may be. You're trying to enjoy it, and you're not, because you get interrupted by RK. I have to do the dirty work, because 63% of you are still not subscribed to the channel. 63%. We passed 20k, that's great. That's fantastic. 50k's there, 100k's there, a million's there. Why are we stopping? Why are you stopping? Grow up, subscribe, boom, button, click. All it does, all it takes. Do it. Now. Don't make me come back. It's weird. When the cameras are like either goal, like the left or right, we get like 40, 50 frames. In the middle of the pitch, it's like 30, 35. Um, so you may see it be a bit more choppy and laggy in the middle of the pitch. I guess because more stuff is happening, I don't really know. And then uh, uh, towards the goals, which to be fair is where the goals happen. So I'd rather it be smoother over there. That's where it gets real, uh, much smoother. It's a weird one, but uh, again, we're fine-tuning the settings right now. Not a fan of this big glitched board in my face, but it is our debut. I don't really want to sim to the end. I want to see Korsgaard in his debut and hopefully get a win here. Definitely a move down for Korsgaard. It is just a loan move, obviously. It's not a, a full-time move. We'll be joining Galatasaray again after this season, but going from the Turkish League... Oh, as the shot goes wide. Go for the Turkish League playing in Europa League football to the Championship fighting to get promoted to the Premier League. It's different, that's for sure. Bad goal kick there. It's really different, but... You know, maybe it's not a bad thing. Yeah, again, he is still 18 years of age from Denmark. You know, he needs to grow. He needs to get experience in different leagues. So maybe this is just one of the leagues he needs experience in. Let's just hope that that bug doesn't happen every single game because that will get very annoying. Apparently, we play five at the back with Bristol. I think it's going to be a very different season. This season? Oh, we should have took one more touch. It's going to be a very different season to what we was used to with Galatasaray. Like, we was just getting into our own in Galatasaray. I, I think I think Korsgaard could have stayed, if I'm honest. Obviously, the gaffer thought he, he, he could use a loan move. And at the end of the day, whatever the gaffer says goes. But I think he could have done well in the Europa League. They had some fun matches coming up. And instead, now he's down in the championship trying to get promoted to the Premier League. And he's not even going to be with them next year, even if they do get promoted. But... It's a weird one. I, th I think it was fitting in well in Galatasaray. But I guess we just got to do what's given to us. Passing in the box. Conway lays off. Oh, shot is blocked. We're getting chances, but going nowhere. Goes down, ref. Yes, free kick. We're taking free... Hello? Cause guard? Can he take free kicks? 
I don't think I've ever seen Korsgaard take a free kick before. Axel Korsgaard, he steps up, he goes for goal! <laughs> he scored! He scored on his debut! <laughs> Axel Korsgaard with a cracking free kick. I had no idea he even knew how to take free kicks. He's never taken a free kick in his life. I guess he is the highest rated player, so maybe that's why. It was a clinical freak. I mean, we've seen some of, you know, David Luiz and stuff used to take uh, free kicks and whatnot. So it's not like it's not realistic. But what a strike from AK on his debut off the bench. <laughs> and he scored a goal. Hey, maybe he can help this Bristol City team, eh? Maybe he can help them get promoted. What a free kick. That was better than Dragomir. I don't like uh, the, the boxes. Uh, luckily, it's like not in our box. It's at the halfway line, which we can deal with. Cause guard, well done. It's at the halfway line where we're not really about, you know. That's pressing course guard again. The only problem is I can't really see who to pass to. We managed to get, get rid of it, though. Five minutes left. I can't believe course guard has scored a free. I can't believe it. Lovely passing. Nucky Wells in behind James. Goes back to Wells. One more for Conway. Lovely passing. The shot is eventually blocked, but nice passing by Bristol City, to be fair. They're looking decent. Strong defending, too. Could be a fun team to play with, to be fair. Narky Wells, when he used to play for, I think it was Shrewsbury back in the day. I, can't, I might be wrong in that, but I know he used to play for a lower down team back in the day. It might be Blackpool, I don't know. Here is Conway. Back to Narky Wells. Goes for goal, gets blocked. We'll take a corner. Hopefully, we're not on corners as well. I know we're the highest overall, but okay, we're in there. Good. Middle of the goal where we belong. Axel Korsgaard always oh, flicked up. Handball in there. No, yes. No, it was against that. I thought so. Korsgaard up to Narky Wells. Edge of the box, going for goal. Goes over, last kick of the game, it looks like. 1-0 home win for Bristol City. Axel Korsgaard, the centre-back from Denmark. Off the bench, on his lone season. Got the winner. Coming off the bench again. Oh, in the middle of the five-back this time. Centre-back, as you can see. Up against Brighton. A, a decent Premier League opposition, to be fair. They know how to play in the Premier League. We'll see how we do. We'll see if we get another free kick going. <laughs> At the Amex, or Armex, whatever it is. Axel Korsgaard, number 25, coming on. Bristol City taking on Brighton. I prefer playing left centre-back or right centre-back for Korsgaard. I, I think I think Korsgaard prefers the left or right centre-back. Just because the centre-back, if you push... Well, I guess the centre-back, if you push up, the left and right can cover you in the middle. So it's not all that bad. But I was thinking left centre-back or right centre-back, the full-backs can cover you. I guess you get covered regardless, since there are five defenders, which is nice. Korsgaard went for the block, missed. Luckily, the ball scraped. Slap bang off the crossbar that time. Korsgaard can get the block. Only as far as Sima. In the box now. Another block. No. Good save, though. Three chances there for Brighton. Back to back to back. We are under pressure. Did you... Uh, did, did, you did you subscribe? You subscribed, right? You, you subscribed? Because I'm back. I'm, you know, I was already in this video. I'm pretty sure. Maybe. I don't know. But, but, but I'm back. Subscribe. Now. 63%. Don't make me come back. Subscribe. Jonathan David. I don't think that's Jonathan David. I saw Jay David. Don't know if he'll be playing for Brighton or not. Another chance. Another save. We are under the cost right now, boys. What's going on? That's through ball again. Mukhtar messed it up. Bentley's got to stay active. Oh, what's he doing? What is he doing? Jesus Christ. Oh, lovely passing. Vyman. Naki Wells up to Conway. You place edge of the box. Oh, that Conway guy stinks, man. McAllister up to Undav. Brighton have had so many chances already. Lovely chip through ball. Up to his left hand side. Good block. Course guard coming over to help out. Gets one block in. Misses the second tackle. Good block by Naismith and a corner given. Course guard running all over the pitch right now. All over that defensive box. Trying to keep the plays out. They go short. Course guard saw the extra pass. Comes over to help out. Sticks a leg in. And, oh, whoa, 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 He pushes course guard away. May have got a bit of the leg there. I think ref may give a yellow for that. Oh, my. He sent us off. He sent us off. He sent us off. Axel course guard gets a red. Oh, we scored two. Luckily, we get an 87th minute winner with 10 men. Luckily, with two wins out of two. But red card given to course guard. Got to be careful. Well, we're not playing, of course. We do play a five at the back, I thought. So, as do, I think, a lot of championship teams. We're not playing in this one. At home again. And we win 1-0. Conway wins. So far since joining, the team has three wins and no losses. Is a cup game up next against Premier League opposition 
in Wolverhampton Wanderers. One down, half an hour to play, coming on in the middle of the five back again. Once we get our mods back, the EFL Cup, we actually have scoreboards and stuff for all of the England leagues, so that'll be awesome. Hopefully, we could turn this one around. All right, we check in, and they've got a corner. Cause got in there, let's not concede straight away. It scares me, but he's confident. Go out to the right hand side. Half an hour to get an equalizer in this one, Carabao Cup. Which, I mean, for championship teams, the Carabao Cup is big. You know, we this is money, this is Premier League opposition. These are big, big games for us. Left to right, Korsgaard all the way out to the right side now. With Wilson. Axel Korsgaard is in the box. Wilson with the ball in. Need a better delivery than that, my friend. Oh, nice header back into Korsgaard. Who flicks it on one more. I like the number 25 for Korsgaard. A lot of different numbers. For him recently, he touches it forward, goes for another power shot. Scored one of those last match, or last episode, sorry. I'm loving how smoother it feels, man. I really am. There was much less jittering and much less, uh, like, stopping. Like, no, like on the old episodes, he used to stop and, like, freeze for a second. There was none of that with NVIDIA Shadowplay compared to OBS, which was awesome. Is that Lucas Moore on the right side? Boldy, this one. The captain, I think it might be. I was passing around by Wolves. Obviously, a better team than us. Oh, we both missed the... Oh, yeah. Matthias Nunez. Oh, a former Arsenal player. Used to play with Theodore Dragomir. We both missed the interception there. And I think that could be us done, to be honest. Look, we went for it there. We missed it, as did he. Easy goal, 2-0. Maybe a little counter-attack here. Knocky Wells up. Intercepted. We remain. Possession of the ball, though. James. Up to the right side, Wilson. Andy Vyman in the middle. Now breaking past the defender. Passes it off. Knocky Wells, first time shot. Maybe Vyman could have shot there. I don't know. We're getting some chances in these matches, though. It's nice to see them actually get chances, but... Yeah, it's not ideal. I mean, uh, to be fair, Carabao Cup against Wolves, we're not the favourites. I'd, I'd rather focus on the league. I, I, if Korsgaard can help this team get promoted, that would be incredible. We pushed up there heavily. Luckily, Guedes stinks. Um, if we can help them get promoted, that would be awesome. Even if we're not going to be there next year, like we're back at Galatasaray, right? just knowing that Korsgaard came in for a season, got a team promoted to the Premier League, and then left, that would be awesome. Best overall, to be fair, Korsgaard is the best player on this team. On loan from a Champions League team, Galatasaray, he's... You know, the, the high expectations with the Bristol City fans and players and staff. They want to see him leading this team. Now the cross in. Korsgaard is there. Keep has two hands on it, though. Oh, they're, they're attacking again now. Puddens. Oh, what a, what a tackle, Korsgaard. Holy moly. It's one of the best tackles he's done. The instant replay is way smoother in with NVIDIA Shadowplay compared to OBS as well. It's way smoother to see replays. Look at this. Podence going for the pass across. I mean, if he makes that pass, he has a player wide open there. Lovely little block by Korsgaard. It's Lucas Moore in behind. He's still quick. I'm guessing at his old age, Korsgaard. Again, does what he always does. Presses up. Lucas Moore goes down. That's the only thing Korsgaard isn't great at defensively. And we've said this last episode as he gives away the ball. Lucas Moore up. Korsgaard jockeying. Again. Again. As I was saying it, that's one... Well, one thing he's not good at is passing out from the back. Another thing is he overextends. Like, he lunges in when he doesn't need to. And completely allows the attack to just get past him. Look, he should have stuck a leg in there. Look, he sticks a leg in at the wrong time. And it ends 3-0 as well. We had a couple like, little half chances, but nothing really went our way that match. We're out of the Carabao Cup already, and it's back to the league. Hopefully, with our first start of our career, if we can get some training done. I always say first start of our career. I mean, first start for the team, of course. We can't get training. So it's another bench appearance against Stoke. Can he do it on a sunny day at Stoke, actually? Normally a rainy day. It's not now. Naki Wells in the box. It would be lovely to come on and get a goal straight away and just focus on keeping a clean sheet. If you can get the cross in, we go back to the edge of the box. Shot is blocked. Ah, unlucky. I see, I, I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying Bristol. This episode, you know, first episode with Bristol is different to Galatasaray. You know, you're, you're used to the high level players. You have a lot of high 70 rated, 80 rated players around you. You you get used to playing with, with, with high rated players, you know. And then you go out on loan. You, you know, you go from playing in the Champions League to the Championship. It's very, very different, but... We're having some half chances with this team, and I think the main thing is, especially as a defender, is we have to lead from example, from the back. Do all of our defensive job at the back. That is never a free kick. And hope that the team can get some goals on the offensive end. This could be one of the most challenging. Oh, my. What's Korsgaard doing? Why is he going for a bicycle kick clearance? Just head it off the line. We go 1-0 down. Lovely free kick, but Korsgaard was there. He's grown recently, too. He's like 6'2", 6'3", now. 
All he has to do is jump and head it. Why is he doing a bicycle kick for? Oh, Korsgaard. Just realized, saying about leader from example, Korsgaard's actually the captain for this match. So he has to lead by even more example as a captain. New position, right center back. So they've switched us to the right hand side. Yeah, he's captain for Bristol. I mean, it makes sense. Even though he's on loan, he's... I mean, to be fair, he's only 18, but he's got the leadership qualities, you know. And he is the highest rated player on the team. He's going to help out by attacking. No, he's lost the ball. Again, with five back, though, they can help cover us when we push up, which is nice. Cause guard. See his player out on the left-hand side. Nice little pinger. Oh, God. It really is a difference, isn't it? The rating of players. The rating of the team compared to Galatasaray v Bristol. It's such a difference, and you can really see it. I like that we can see the difference, but it was also frustrating. Like, I just... I feel like Korsgaard could have done so well in the Europa League, you know? But the gaffer didn't believe in him. Thought he could use a season out on loan. I'd be interested to see your guys' views on it in the comments, whether or not you think he could have stayed at Galatasaray, or if you think this loan is a good idea, as he struggles to make the tackle. Good save, Bentley. Oh, Naki Wells. Lovely first touch from the goalkeeper's throw. Couldn't hold on to it, though. Big strength by the defender. Campbell's pass is intercepted, as is that one, by Axel Korsgaard. Crucial. 10 minutes to play, 1-0 down. Potentially get our first loss with Bristol since joining on loan. And of course, it's the first match where we're captain. Good interception again from Korsgaard, but he's giving it back away. Tracking back, going to try to win it back with his strength and does. Oh, referees never a foul, man. Never. Referees hate Korsgaard. Pass it on. Brown attacking for Stoke. Pull up to the right side, Edwards. Ball goes in. Oh, a bunch of blocks. I always get scared about a handball, but it's cleared. Without any infringements. Six, uh, four minutes, sorry. To try and get an equaliser. We'll take a draw at Stoke. We would take it. Oh, no. Long shot. Just about goes over. Not a bad effort. But I want to see more from us. The long shots outside the box. Trying to squeeze him in, you know. Oh, we've got to push up now. 88th minute. Korsgaard in the box. Wilson with the ball in. Oh, Korsgaard was going for it. And I think that might be it, lads. Unless we can win the header, which we do. Korsgaard, little header down. Back out to the right-hand side. Here's Axel Korsgaard. Losing possession for the boys. The only difference between OBS and NVIDIA Shadowplay is I don't know how long we've been recording for. I can't check that on NVIDIA Shadowplay. But I quite like the idea of an all-bench appearance episode. So I think we're going to leave this one here. It might be slightly shorter than uh, we're used to. But again, there's going to be some long, some short episodes coming up. We have Southampton who are coming up next, who are currently to second in the league. So it's going to be a big, big match. Let me know what you think about the loan move to Bristol City. And hopefully you're excited for a season in the championship before returning to Galatasaray next year and hopefully doing better in the Champions League. We've also not seen from Denmark in a while, so I don't know when our next international appearance is. But I feel like we've not seen from Denmark. Oh, maybe we're not getting called up, actually. Uh, come to think of it, I'm, you know, I think of Dragomir getting caught up for Romania all the time, but the uh, actual cause guard's not on the same level with Denmark, obviously a higher reputable nation, so it's much harder to get caught up for at 75 overall, so we'll see in future if you end up getting caught up for Denmark, but we'll leave this one here, hopefully you've enjoyed, if you have, please do leave a thumbs up on the video, and if you subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next one, much of us always, take care, and peace. Oh,